Hi everyone! Today in this tutorial we will discuss how to create user flow diagrams in Figma. First what we need is let's run the simple flow plugin. Let's click right here and you're gonna see the simple flow is active at the moment. Uh, you can all, I will leave the link in the description as well so you can uh, click through and install it yourself okay so right here we have our uh, screens so let's imagine that this is the user uh, journey and we just want to add the, the flow okay so first of all let's click right here and copy connect to the clipboard so now let's select the first screen and the next step and let's click Control or command V all right screen this um, um, this uh, connector will always adjust its uh, width and height and it will always be connected to the previous screen which is I think it's amazing okay so let's say we're gonna post, place it right here we're gonna add another screen right here so we don't have to worry that this screen will this connector will uh, slide off and disconnect okay which is I think it's amazing okay the second thing is we can also do is we can click right here and you can see this small uh, indica indicator right here we can just drag it up and down as well if let's say we want to add some sort of text right here so let's say we want to say usually say let's say stay uh, step one or something like that but the best thing is what we can do is go right here we can double click we can just add the copy in here it's gonna say step one or we can say flow one which be more right so now let's make sure it's visible because it's dark background here we go now you can see we got the naming right here so now if we will change it up and down you see it will adjust automatically the uh, the connector plus the the name of the flow as well so let's do uh, let's go ahead and do the same thing for the next steps so we have our first step um, we have a contact us what we can also do is select this connector right here and just connect it straight to the button and you can see by default it gives you three options you can handle from this one from the top from the bottom from the left or from the right so let's have it from the right okay so let's assume the user will click uh, contact us he's gonna have this uh, contact form he's gonna fill out his details and click submit and let's say from here from this contact form we gonna select the path that he wants to choose okay so first of all we're gonna copy as I say copy the connector we're gonna click it at the second the first screen I'm gonna click Control or command V okay and you see it's been it's been connected what I want to do is or I always try to do is always select not the screen but the element that triggers that uh, that action okay which would be probably the right thing okay so now now what we're gonna do is, is also copy the connector we're gonna click the screen right here then I'm gonna click the second one I'm gonna click connect all right so then we're gonna go to the, the same place all right so you, now you see if even if two actions goes from the same the same button is gonna align them correctly but you see they do not overlap as well so now if we can what we can do is make we can drag it um, forward or backwards or we can actually do it like that so we don't have we have less um, visual distractions as well okay it's up to you how you want to do it okay so let's copy right here and let's uh, let's pretend that from screen two we want the user to move to screen three okay so we, see, we copied our connector we're gonna click ctrl v and it's been connected as i said before we want i want it to be from the actual uh, call to action that triggers that action okay so we're gonna go to in this instance we can go straight to 
to this screen right here okay which is great you see now it's very visible but let's say you wanted them to make them thick it's not very visible for you so you're gonna do is go ahead and select your lines and you go right here and you're gonna add stroke increase it to let's say 10 right and it's gonna do the same one for every single one you can change the color you can make it red which red I think works okay because the overall um, colors that we have they are red as well so we can have it like that but what I prefer to do is just leave it by default because it adds less distraction but at the same time it keeps the the information and the flows are visible so this is how you create uh, user flow diagrams in Figma if you guys have any questions or you want to reach out to me so this is the email you can uh, talk me on this is just a random number so don't pay attention if you have uh, your designs and you would like to discuss them and you want me to give you feedback just send your figma links to this email right here and i'll have a look and i will create a video where we'll break it down and we'll discuss it all right thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial and have a great day